Welcome back gamers. So I have an experiment for today's video. This is gonna be a gaming PC build, but it's not gonna be any ordinary gaming PC. This PC that I have behind me is gonna be built with in-game Escape from Tarkov parts because I wanna see if these parts will actually run the game. Now I have seen people do this test to see if the 750 Ti that is actually in-game will actually run it. But now what I have is an actual 4th gen i7 CPU along with that ASUS 750 Ti that you can find in RAID. Before we dive into this build, I want to go over the components and show you what we have actually scavenged off of Marketplace, eBay, and a couple of brand new items like the SSD that honestly is a direct reflection of what you would find in the game. The ASUS 750 Ti, I have found a couple of these on eBay for $50. And this Core i7 motherboard and RAM combo I picked up for $75, so I'm definitely pleased with that. I had an old power supply laying around that'll do just fine for this build. It'll provide plenty of power and we won't have any issues with that. We did have a hang up with the CPU cooler because these coolers do not have the backing plate to mount them to the board. So I will be using an Intel stock cooler just because it's about as generic as I can get and it's what I have on hand. This old Corsair 650D is about as generic as I could find and honestly, I think it'll work perfect with this build. This case comes with a disk drive that you can also find in game and also a bad disk drive that I've had laying around that I just haven't decided what to do with it. So I figured it would fit perfect in this build. Everything that I have collected behind me was approximately $300 and now I wanna put it to the test and see if it will actually run the game. So let's find out. All I ever wanted was you, but you left me alone inside these empty broken walls. And I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious I know.
All right, so now that we've got the hard part done with assembling this PC, honestly, I think it looks very plain, but that's what I would expect to find in a war-torn city like Tarkov. We have the GPU, the CPU, a printed circuit board being the motherboard, some RAM, power supply, a damaged hard drive, and an SSD. There's only one thing left to add to it. That's a Fountain Raid power cord. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power this thing up and I'm gonna see if this thing will actually work for one, because I have not tested any of this stuff, but two, let's see if this thing will actually run Tarkov and see how it performs. All right, so it looks like we've got a couple lights on the motherboard, our GPU's lit up. So this is gonna be the moment of truth. Hopefully we get a, a good response. So far so good, we do have an output. All right, so do, we do actually have a boot. Uh, so everything looks good. Uh, what I'm gonna do is set this over to the thumb drive that we have installed so we can install Windows and uh, get everything booted up so we can go ahead and find the game and download it. So after a little bit of struggle and a couple of parts changes, I finally got Windows loaded onto the Samsung SSD. I noticed that I was having a warning and I ended up getting a blue screen that said memory management. So I ended up going ahead and swapping out those two four gig sticks of DDR3 RAM for the two eight gig sticks that we had and everything seemed to be working just fine. So as you can see, we're installing Escape from Tarkov right now. We've got our drivers updated. We've got MSI Afterburner so we can check those frames real time and see how everything's running to see if we have any bottlenecks on the CPU or GPU. So uh, hopefully we can actually have a decent experience, but uh, I'm, I'm still kind of skeptical as to whether or not it's going to even play or not. All right, so the only thing I can conclude is yes, this computer with the end game parts will actually play the game. Now, I know that a lot of people wouldn't necessarily want to game between 25 and 35 FPS, but the fact is that we can play it. And to be honest, the game capture does not do it justice. This game is surprisingly smooth. It did not have a lot of lag and any type of stuttering or anything along those lines. Now, this video car only having two gigs of VRAM, it surprised me with the amount of performance that this thing was able to do on low preset settings, 1080p. But like I said, would I recommend it? Probably not. Now, I would recommend this computer build if you were to, let's say, want to watch your favorite streamer or content creator. But as far as playing the game, for the price that I've got into this, you could invest a little bit more and really increase the performance of this thing and really help it out with other software like Streamlabs, Discord, anything like that that you're gonna be using while you're playing this game. But honestly, I'm just surprised how well this computer actually performed. So ultimately, all I wanted to do is just test all these computer parts out that you can find in game. And I'm just surprised that it actually was able to run. So I sincerely thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up to give me that feedback that you like this video. Also hit that subscribe button so you're aware whenever future content comes out. And as always, we'll catch you next time.